Good afternoon, everyone. After two months, we are back for the vlog and I brought you right back to where we left off, the million dollar blank slate. I'm gonna take you inside. This is the Salisbury build. And as I predicted, as usual, we try to get the curb appeal up and get this house into contract during construction. And that's exactly what we did. I'm gonna take you inside, show you the progress. We're in the customization phase. We have about six to eight weeks of work remaining. Let's go inside. Over the next couple of weeks, we're gonna get the sod down. We're adjusting the sprinklers right now. Get some mulch here for the flower beds. Get this driveway paved. Get that beautiful porter potty out of the way soon, hopefully. And let's just pause right here for a second. This is a nice feature. I borrowed it from another build that I previously did. This covered porch is gonna to lend to hours of hanging out for the family. You've got recessed lighting, a hanging wall light. And let's get inside now where I have the next level of a perfect blank slate. The drywall just got installed. We did our second coat of spackle yesterday. And while this dries, I have to clear my mind, order the doors, order the trim work, and get ready to customize the bathrooms for our new buyer. Before we go further, let's go through this floor plan a little bit. This is a two-story entry foyer, pretty standard center hall. And right this way is a formal dining room. And I like how this space is a little bit separate from the kitchen area. You've got a couple of walls here for a little bit of space privacy. You've got the garage entrance here. And this wing is that crucial feature that I try to squeeze into every build. And our buyer was particularly fond of this because they have extended family that lives with them. We've got a bedroom, we've got a full bath, and a little bit different, my friends have been calling this one Belmore 2.0, a little bit different than the North Belmore build is we have some added features like this huge walk-in pantry. And when you have a kitchen with a finite amount of cabinet space, that pantry can really come in handy. And this area right here, this is that open concept kitchen family room we're going to do our usual regency p36 fireplace pre-wiring for all our television and internet on the wall and this space right here is going to be that l-shaped kitchen you've got your stove on that wall range hood the microwave is going to be in the island you've got the window centered to the kitchen sink dishwasher and so forth and right this way is that big formal living room where we're going to have crown moldings shadow boxes chair rail molding and this bright, airy floor plan is gonna be complemented by a light gray color that our buyer has already selected. Now let's go upstairs. Now that we're on the second floor, you can see there's still so much that we have to do, but I really wanna paint a picture, give you guys a frame of reference so you can see a few weeks from now just how much we'll have accomplished. So this wide hallway leads to four bedrooms, two full baths, and a huge laundry room. Right in the middle of the hallway is your pull down stair. It's hidden from this foyer, so you can't see it when you walk in the front door. And up there, we've got a spray foamed attic, which is gonna be considered conditioned space. It's never gonna be too hot or too cold due to seasonal changes. And we're gonna have a ton of storage up there. Right this way is a big laundry room, another ba bedroom, and this bedroom is massive. It's actually almost the same size as the master. And for the sake of symmetry, we have these little bump outs on both sides so that you can have all this natural light and even have a little seating feature or storage feature. And right this way, we've got another bedroom, a full bath, double sink in there, linen closet over here, third bedroom on the left, and every bedroom gets high hats center mounted light fixture, a light in the closet. And right here is the main feature, the master suite, and this huge room is complemented by tons of hi-hats, lots of natural light, two closets, a walk-in, a double closet on the right, and a huge bathroom with a separate water closet, a walk-in shower, a double vanity, and we're gonna center a soaking tub right to this window. And despite the fact that we're in between phases, a clean job site is always one of my main focuses, as, as you can see, this site is clean and it's ready for the trades. We've got two more stops in this week's episode, so let's get in the car. I'll take you to Hicksville number five and stop by Plainview number three. Just now, as we were filming this episode, I noticed a problem and I grabbed my tape measure and I went inside and I confirmed what I already knew. 
The two coat closets at the entry foyer of the Salisbury build did not have matching openings. So I gotta bring the framer back, have them put a couple two by fours in, have the drywall guy patch it while they're already there working on the next coat of spackle. And the point of this anecdote is, if you wanna be successful in this business, waving your finger around is not gonna get you anywhere. You gotta be present, you gotta be aware, you gotta take notes, and every single day you're gonna find two or three things that you're gonna to need to address. Now I brought you here to Hicksville number five when this house was just getting out of the ground, but since we took that two month break, you can see that we made a tremendous amount of progress. And right now, the main focus is getting this curb appeal up. We've got the masonry crew here. I've got that huge for sale sign out in front. And the plan is to get the driveway carved out, the front walkway, the patio, the PVC fence, a signature pinnacle masonry package and landscaping package, and get this thing sold. Because it's already September, and we really don't have a lot of time to waste. It gets really lonely, especially during the holiday months. But we're making a ton of progress here, and this is a big week for us. Let's go inside and let me show you what I have going on. The old driveway used to be here, but we moved the curb cut over here. There's going to be a double car driveway here, a nice walkway to the driveway. And right here is gonna be an awesome feature. As you can see, we've got the two-story portico. So I'm gonna make two piers here, have bring them up to about waist height, put some cultured stone on them to match the rest of this front elevation, and put some nice big columns going all the way up. It's gonna add a quite a bit of emphasis to this front elevation. Now, please excuse the mess, because of course we have to work. But uh, we've got three crews here today. We've got the framers, the electricians, the masons. The plan is to get this place cleaned up, get the electric roughed out. The plumbing is done. The HVAC is almost done. I want to maximize this curb appeal, bring our buyer to the door as soon as possible. This is a very special house. We've got five bedrooms, four bathrooms, two master suites, a bedroom on the first floor with a full bath, open floor plan, large lot, large home. The train station is right there. The Broadway Mall is right there. And I built the house around the corner, so my reference is right there. So let's get this thing presentable. Let's get it on the market. Let's get it sold as soon as possible. This is our last stop of the day. This is plain view number three. I've also been bringing you guys here for quite some time. And if you go back a couple episodes ago, I brought you inside before anything happened. This was a very oddly shaped colonial. And as you can see, it's got beautiful curb appeal, a very nice front elevation. There's gonna be a covered porch there, double car driveway. And we're directly across the street from plain view number two. And believe it or not, I have a bunch of activity here. We have an offer on the table. We're massaging some of the final details and the spec list. And this one might be in contract before the next episode. But I want to thank all of you for watching, for jumping back on this journey with me of the vlog. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. At Pinnacle Real Estate is my handle. Subscribe, comment, and like below. Have a great day, everyone.